Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the University, University Survival, Survival Guide. Guide. Guide, we're going to be talking about university life and giving them tips and tricks uh, for students. And so for today's topic is time management. Now, time management is very, very important, especially in university. Well, you see, in secondary school, you have a fixed timetable that you have to follow. But in university, you have to pick your own timetable. So, Ashley, what do you think about that? Yeah, I totally agree with what you just said. Like back in high school, I didn't have the choice to choose whatever I want to study. But right now, I can choose what um, I'm actually interested in and I actually have a lot of fun. Although it can be really hectic, but it's worth it. Yeah. Okay. And for Jack? Yeah, in terms of time management, I believe that um, time is where you make it. So whether it be in school or university, as long as you know how to organize yourself properly, you will have time to yourself. Okay. So besides that, um, how do you get uh, involved with co-curricular activities for Jack? Um, well, it started off with word of mouth. Like I joined the cheerleading team through word of mouth, and uh, that was like how I got interested. I didn't know they existed before that. But, really? Like, yeah, somebody just told me you should join, and I'm like, what's that? So like, I think seven months later, I'm still in the team. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and for Ashley? Um, for me, it was like um, before I joined Help, I actually knew that they had a cheer team. And before that, I was cheering as well, so I really wanted to join. But then I didn't dare to, and then my friend just encouraged me to join there, so right, that's how it right. happened. So upon all of your curricular activities, uh, how many subjects are you taking this semester? Uh, I'm currently taking five subjects for this semester, but at the same time, I'm also the co-captain co -captain for the cheerleading club and also the vice president for the student council. Oh, that's a lot. And for Jack? Uh, less than Floyd, flamboyant than Ashley's, but I am taking uh, five subjects. Uh, four of them which have finals and three with a lecturer that is very meticulous about her work. So I have my hands tied. Alright. Uh, okay, so besides subjects and um, curricular activities, let's talk about assignments. So you guys know how tedious assignments are, right? Yeah. yeah. So because sometimes they can be individual assignments, they can be group assignments. Now group assignments, that's where the problem comes in. Because you don't know how many members you have yeah. and you don't know who's doing their job and who's not doing their job. So. For the both of you, how do you manage to get all of the assignments done and make sure like everyone's on time and you don't waste your time? Jack? Well, a lot of times the problem is not having a leader in a group. So what you need is someone to step up and you know take assertive power in a nice way to not burn bridges and make sure that people get their work done but also being a nice person. All right. Yeah, for, for me, in my case, uh, we actually do the same thing as well. Firstly, we'll assign a group leader first so that he or she can assign all of us our task so that each and every one of us can focus on all our um, given tasks. Yeah. Alright, so besides that, what do you do about people that, you know, they don't do their jobs? Um, for me, we will actually try talking to them first. Um, we will try to explain to them why is it so important to um, accomplish finish their tasks, yeah, finish their jobs, so that everybody can just go through this together. Yeah, but if that doesn't work, maybe we'll try to just cover it up for that for that particular person. All right, yeah. uh, Jack. Um, the thing about people who don't do their work is that because it's a group assignment, all of you work together to get a mark that is equal to everybody. So if somebody doesn't pull their weight, the chances of them bringing your mark down is a very high possibility so you do your best to make sure that they get their work done and if it's not done you have no choice but to go to a lecturer or something yeah right so but how do you guys feel about it like going against your friends um for me i wouldn't recommend people to actually go against their friends maybe for during the assignment period um you can try talking to them first if it really really doesn't work maybe you can try go um talking to the lecturer and see if he or she can help out with the problem yeah right. okay and jack 
Yeah, I agree with what Ashley says, you know. I mean, the last thing you want to do in university is burn bridges. So True. the first thing you have to try is, you know, talk to the person, find out why they're not doing their work. But mm-hmm. if you really have no choice, then you have to find an outside yeah. uh, third person to help. Yeah. Okay, so after you finish all of your assignments, how do you guys make time for revision, Ashley? <sighs> okay, so for like this semester, actually our assignment... The last assignment deals on um, the coming Tuesday and our finals is in like um, one week's time so it's actually pretty hard but for me I'll actually stop all my activities and I'll just focus on my finals mm. studying for it yeah because I I don't want to waste all the money and effort that I've put in in my um, college yeah so you're willing to just um, not yeah. to say jeopardize but like put everything else on hold and yeah, just focus on just for that few days yeah all right yeah and Jack uh, a lot of things in university is based on priorities. Right. Um, half the year you spend your time, you know, enjoying yourself while studying at the same time. But the moment finals comes, you know, you have to put the things you enjoy aside yeah. and, you know, put your focus where it should be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what about your schedules? So how do you plan them? How many subjects? How do you guys plan it all out, Ashley? Um, for me, I will actually um, get a, um, a planner. And then I'll write down all my um, stuff and whatever I need to do, my to-do list in my planner so that I can actually go back to my planner and just check out, um, oh, I need to complete, finish this by when, 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 like this. Yeah, so this helps me a lot. And for Jack? Building on out, Ashley said um, there's actually a lot of apps that you can download. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. like student apps where you can put in your exam schedules, yeah. uh, assignment deadlines, and the, the app will help you like keep track of them. So is that what basically what you do? Yeah, that's what I do. All right. So, we've gone through the semester, their assignments and subjects. Now we'll be going for a commercial break and we'll see you soon. So, welcome back to the University Survival Guide. So, we're still here with Ashley and Jack. First of all, let me just say thank you so, so much for being on the show today. Thank no you problem. so much yeah, for having thank us. You, yeah, thank you for having us. So, okay, for the second part, we have a few questions. And these questions are actually from actual students around KL. So, I'm going to pick some out and you guys are going to answer. Yeah, sure. Alright? So, for the first question, let me pick some all up. What should I consider when choosing a university? Ashley? Um, for me, I would actually consider the courses, um, firstly the courses that they offer. Um, I don't want to pick something that I don't have interest in or I don't enjoy. I want to enjoy whatever I'm studying. Secondly, I would say um, the universities that um, they have linked with, like other foreign universities, if you are planning to further your studies at another country. yeah. So for you, what, where would you like to further your studies? Um, because I'm doing um, communication, so actually the best place I w- um, is actually in the US. Yes. Right. Yeah, okay. America. But um, it's actually really hard to get there, so yeah. I'm just trying. trying. Well, keep yeah. on trying. <laughs> <laughs> and for Jack? Um, I think the first thing you should think about is where you want to be in 30 years. Right. And once you've decided where you want to be, you know, choose your courses or whatever university that aligns with that. Uh, secondly, I think you should think about how close it is to home that you want to study because if you plan to study overseas then you have to mentally prepare for that but if you're studying locally then it helps you to choose a university that's in line with what you want and close by to your house right so what about you do you want to stay close to home or do you want to spread your wings and fly i i haven't had any big ambitions to go overseas so i'm just going to stay local stay local all right so moving on to the second question 
how do you deal with stress in university? Jack? Um, well, there's a few ways you can do it. Just knowing university, you have friends, you know. Friends are one of the main things that you can, you know, share your stress about because, you know, it's common interest. They have the same stresses as you. Mm -hmm. So you can gather around and, you know, agree and maybe gossip about stresses that you have because they're all the same stuff. Right. Ashley? Yeah, for me, um, when I feel really stressed out, uh, I will actually go walk around the city. Like, I like to walk around myself. Yeah, and I'll be like, oh, actually, I've, I'm, really, I'm a really blessed child. Yeah, so then my stress will go all go away. <laughs> so basically what, uh, for Jack, you deal with it head on, yeah. but for Ashley, you actually take some time yeah. alone. Yeah. Okay, so for Jack, how, how about dealing with it alone? Like how would you do stress by yourself? Most of the time when I feel stressed out, it's because of my exams or whatever. So I've realized since I was in school that if I'm stressed out, I just open the book that I'm stressed out about. And if I stare at it long enough, eventually it'll be like, you know, maybe it's not so bad. You'll feel numb about it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, right. And how about you? How about when you're in groups? Yeah. So how do you like deal um, with it? Maybe I'll try talking to my friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but sometimes I find talking to my friends may or may not work because it still depends on that particular person. Maybe mm -hmm. we have different opinions, so it still depends, yeah. Right. Okay, so moving on to the next question. Should we skip uni and go to work? Jack? Um, no, definitely not. Unless your work is really important, like taking care of your grandfather, which is on his deathbed, then only then I would say it's okay. But other than that, it's not worth it because your parents are paying their money for you to go to uni and you know you can't waste their money. You have to make it worthwhile. Well, well, what about those students that actually pay for their own fees? There are some that do pay for their own fees. That's true. If they do pay for their own fees, then they should plan prior to doing this and choose their schedule to allow them to work. Right. Actually, what do you think? Um, for me, I, I agree with what Jack said. Like, um, you are paying so much for one semester just for that few papers. And you don't want to just because of, just because you want to earn a few hundred bucks you to wanna, lose that right. thousand, a few thousand ringgit. Yeah, so it's not worth it at all. Alright, so, oh, I agree with everything that you said <laughs> very much. So uh, that's all we have time for for today. Uh, thank you so so much for coming on the show. Yeah. But before we end, do you have any last words, like any wise words to give our audience? Um, I would actually recommend um, and or more like encourage everyone to just enjoy your uni life. I know some people might not um, be enjoying whatever they're doing right now, or maybe they just don't. Maybe they just think that this uni or that uni doesn't suit them. Uh, maybe just try to think from another way, like maybe think that you can actually you're actually very blessed that you can study further your studies, and there are actually more people in, like especially in Africa they are like suffering, worrying about shelter, food, yeah. So, and uh, much lighter note, your university <laughs> life. This is the university survival guide. You are given a student card, so make sure you use it the best way you can because there's so many privileges that you don't know about. True. Examples of student privileges. Uh, I get discounts for my LRT, I get discounts for my train tickets, I get discounts for movies, I get discounts for a lot of things. Yeah, especially meals. <laughs> meals, yeah, yeah, that's one thing that you have to think about. Okay, so before you go, uh, we would like to give you a, a gift. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, so this one is for Jackie, just pass it on to him. Oh, wow, thank you. And this is for oh, you, Thank you Ashley. so much, thank you. Oh, I hope you guys like the gifts. And. Now, before we end the whole show, we like to end with a lucky draw for our next or for our next episode. Oh, okay. So for Jack, can you do the honors? Yes, sure. Uh, there. You open it now? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. So next, we will talking about parking. Now that's one of the biggest problems in university. Definitely. So stay tuned if you want to know about all our tips and tricks. And uh, what else? Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, on all our social medias. And thank you for joining us today. Bye. Mm -hmm.